Last month at the Military Women's Memorial in D.C., 49 female veterans, all breast cancer survivors, nice. had their portraits hung in solidarity, proudly displaying the scars of mastectomy surgeries that would normally be hidden. But these 49 are far from alone. A 2009 Pentagon study found that women in the armed forces are 20 to 40 percent more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer than their civilian counterparts. Bringing that issue into focus is one professional photographer who's made it her mission to put a face on the disease. To further express that point, this story will include portraits showing survivors bare-chested, images as raw as the emotions behind them. Hold yourself up tall, hold your chin up high. Using more than just her lens to draw out her subjects, photographer Sharice Isis and lift your chin up. captures their spirit. Beautiful. Creating transformational images of breast cancer survivors who've lost one or both of their breasts to the disease. It is unbelievable how open they are with you with that vulnerability. I think they see the pictures that I've been doing and they see these women standing in their power and their beauty and they, they're like, I want a portrait of me like that. The photographs, which total more than 600 to date, are part of a collection that's initial idea can be traced back to one woman who'd undergone a mastectomy but still posed topless for Charisse in a boudoir photo shoot. She said, I have a confession to make. I'm a 12-year breast cancer survivor. I feel mutilated under my clothing. I've never shown anyone my scars. In that moment, I'm behind the camera like I had goosebumps. I'm thinking to myself, wow, I'm witnessing somebody let go of like 12 years of shame. What was it like to be a part of that? It felt magical. I mean, it was as cathartic for me as it was for her. And I realized that I needed to put something out there that put a face on breast cancer, that showed some beauty and courage and grace. In 2009, the aptly named Grace Project officially began. Charisse collecting stories and taking pictures of women who'd undergone mastectomy surgery with a symbolic goal of 800 portraits. There are about 800 new diagnoses in the United States every day for breast cancer. And then I thought, what a powerful thing if I could have 800 portraits hanging in one space at one time so you could truly see the impact of breast cancer in America. For creative inspiration, she turned to the Venus de Milo, a Hellenistic goddess who's broken but beautiful and strong. As for the title... The word grace stems from the word, it means gratitude, it's the word for thanks, it means a gift. And it also talks about the grace of the body, so it had sort of this whole multiple meaning to it. And while no survivor story is the same, Charisse has put some in their own category, the Athena Division. Launched in 2015, it's dedicated to military veterans. Actually, just a little bit right about there, in the middle there like and Sheila Johnson. I joined the United States Air Force in 1985. I did 25 years, four months and 27 days. I'm counting all of them. Sheila retired when she was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer at age 43. I want you to think about the strength and the pride. She credits her military service with some of the resiliency and fight needed to battle her cancer for the last 12 years. I know that Sheila feels very blessed because she's had a lot of time, but when I started photographing her, like, the emotion just started pouring out of her immediately. I mean, she had tears streaming down her face. If you start to feel emotional, just, just be with it. Just be with it. Don't fight it. It took me back when I was diagnosed. You know, I cried when they told me I had to get out to the military. But then you're looking at all these flags in the room, and I see the United States Air Force flag. And I was proud. I'm proud to have served my country. I guess you're never fully done with breast cancer, right? No. So is Barbara Arndt, who served for four years in the Marine Corps. Though she also calls her service a confusing time after she says she was sexually assaulted while doing her specialty training at Camp Lejeune. I didn't report it, I didn't tell anybody, but, you know, I knew you don't talk about that. Come on, we're going this way, yes, good girl. Barbara says she learned to push her feelings aside, ones she'd later be forced to face, as she was at age 41 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer.
How did you decide to have the double mastectomy? It wasn't a thought in my mind. I knew that I didn't want my breasts anymore. I felt like my body betrayed me. And I'm sorry, but I had really nice breasts. I really liked them. My breasts, my hair, and then they were gone. So, you know, I just shut down. For Barbara, the Athena Project helped open her back up. When I photographed her, I could see emotion welling up in her, and I think that that really surprised her. That's it, don't fight that feeling. I can see that you've got emotion that wants to come up. And she talked about, you know, you're a Marine, you have to be tough, you've got to just keep pushing through. You know, she did that with her cancer, so she was emotional in her photo shoot, and it was a really beautiful moment with her. I stood in Central Park topless, and I didn't feel weird at all. I felt really empowered. It was like, wow, like I'm still here, and I was really mindful of being able to watch people objectively, and nobody was like, oh, gross, or put a top on. She credits the Athena Project with what she called the gift of being comfortable in her own skin. For the longest time, I thought that I was never gonna be with men again. Like, I was just gonna become this old maid because, you know, one of my favorite attributes about myself was gone. So, like, what do I have to offer you? I'm never gonna take my top off. And the fact of the matter is, is that it doesn't matter what I look like. It's not about my looks. It's about who's in here. Really Thank you. It's a sentiment Sharice Isis never tires of hearing. You seem to take this scar that for some is shame and you turn it into strength, which is an amazing thing. Yeah, well, you know, a scar is, it's the sign that you have gotten through something really big and um, you're still here. That's a sign of a fighter. Yeah, absolutely. And these women are, the military women are definitely fighters. And obviously, all of these breast cancer survivors are one of the things that everyone we spoke with really hopes that this Athena division can do is not just raise awareness. We know breast cancer's out there. But the VA is dealing with a female population that is the largest, the fastest growing population among it and they need to start working towards helping these women battle the disease and find earlier detection. 800 people diagnosed every day. Every day, approximately. And we'll be right back.